What's up party people? Today's topic is the cream de la cream of express management. So we are talking about filtering email receipts or invoices automatically from Gmail to Spark receipt so that you don't need to do anything after that. In this video I will walk through what are the steps in the setup so that you can create the filters so that you don't need to send any documents manually anymore from your Gmail to Spark receipt and that is just awesome. It will save you a ton of time. First thing what you want to do, you go to your Gmail, go to your settings and you have a forwarding and pop IMAP section here and there you can find add forwarding address and what you do you go to Spark receipt and have your personal inbound address. Take this address with you and add that as a forwarding address. There will be some security steps, but it is worth it. I can promise you that. Forwarding mail Spark receipt proceed. And now a confirmation link has been sent to Spark receipt blah 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 email address. And what does that mean? Now I need to go to Spark receipt. I will have that. Uh, email as an expense in my Spark receipt account. I will refresh this and here I have email. I edit the file. I copy this carefully. Then I go to, to the actual address and confirm. May now forward emails to Spark receipt. Now if I go to a receipt, for example from captions, I can now create filter. So I want to filter messages like this. And then I just push create filter forward to this address that I just created as a filter. And now I'm going to create a filter and once more verify with the app. Now it's done. You can see here filter was created. So now all receipts from captions in the future will go automatically to Spark receipt and I don't need to do anything. That is just cool um, and uh, streamline the process quite a lot. And you don't need to remember anymore what are the receipts or invoices or documents that I have sent, what are not. I just create the filters once and then all receipts, for example, from recurring vendors go automatically from your Gmail to Spark receipt. Hope you get this right. It's definitely worth doing the settings and setup and that will help you a lot in the future and that will automate many processes for the future as well. So hope this video is helpful. Let us know if you need any help. Thanks for watching. Bye.